Well, here we have it. The Battleship Rook. Yes, you know, the Battleship Rook is one of those things where it existed long before I played on a server where you could actually get a battleship in the in the base fan fiction. You know, we needed a base. Not like a, ba a base for the base, basically. A B-A-S-E for the B-A-S-S. And uh, we came up with a whole long story about ending up getting a Bretonian battleship. Which made sense, because I recall at the time, you know, us and Draco were holding the New London areas. And the time came where we could actually get one of these. Thank you, Mr. Bonkers, for cranking out a lot of credits. Naturally, we bought one, and we called it the Rook. Now, we're up here in Limbo. This is, looks like the regular Alaska, but you'll notice it's a little bit more plain than the Alaska you will see if you get to the FLU server. That's right, we're here on the Freelancers United. Because it has been banned to the regular Alaska, they're actually not modded Alaska, because uh, base hasn't had maintained at least, I think, five people on it. And uh, at least he didn't delete our, our capital ships, but he moved them all to Limbo. Which I imagine you could have a pretty good Limbo battle if we could get everybody together. Just trying to get it a little bit better parked here. It's a beautiful thing, really. I mean, it's like, you know... I'm happy to just to go and visit it every once in a while. Yeah, just park just right here, and then now let's, let's get turret view going and whip this around. That's not perfect either, but you know, it's going to move a little bit whenever we do stuff with it anyway, so... Eh. Incidentally, this is another one of those videos where I did an awful lot of talking, and then didn't have the microphone turned on properly. Putting a bit of uh, scotch tape over the button seems to have cured that problem. Ah, here we go. Blood and bloody ashes. Haven't seen base in a while. And, you know, now we'll have a nice little conversation here. And visit for a bit. Bye, busy, busy, busy. Now, before you get critical over the, the way you communicate here, there, there's no in-game uh, voice chat. You're looking at, you know, 2003 tech here. I mean, you know, the machines we had back then couldn't do nearly what uh, what you could do nowadays. Which is really amazing that this game looks as good as it does. I'm fairly certain I'm running the, uh, the high-definition mod on it, but I mean, still... That might even be part of the uh, the FLU mod that gives you all the cap ships and all the extra systems and whatnot. And all that's true there. I am still friends with everybody, so, you know, we'll just see. When everybody starts getting the Jones for space stuff... I'm curious as to what's going to happen when, uh, when Star says it comes to full tilt, because I, it doesn't really, to me, have the same flavor as... The old freelancer, it's close. I mean, in some things, it's infinitely better, but, I mean, it's not the same. Yeah, it might make your wish for the old days, so we'll have to see how things go here. I have a feeling that Star Citizen isn't going to kill off freelancer. It's going to uh, make people play it more. Yeah, I've, uh, I've kept the fleet going for quite some years now. It's really funny when you think about it. I've been playing this game since 2005. Now it's 2016. Definitely a shout out to another shout out to Mr. Bonks. We have to get in touch with him. See how he's doing. I've been in touch with Rambler as of late. I'm Thor. I haven't heard from Ie Kami in a while. I'll have to check on him and see how he's doing. I'm on his Facebook, but... Let's see how that goes. Actually, it took me a minute there to think of Ie Kami, because I've been talking with him for the last few years using, of course, his real name, so... It, it's been a while since I've actually used uh, 
That is, it means it's Japanese for good spirit, and it really does fit the man. I gotta tell you. It's funny. Iikami was actually in uh, in Tokyo on business when uh, when the tsunami hit. And the, there was the Fukushima disaster, and we were all just agonizing over him. We kept a vigil going with it. We parked our ships outside New Tokyo in game, and we just left them there 24 seven. Just left the computers running, and we just—it was just a, a silent vigil there until he came home. Man, that was an unbelievable disaster. It's still an unbelievable disaster. I mean, that's just, you know... I still can't believe, you know, the mistakes that were made in the design of that reactor. I mean, you put a reactor that requires positive cooling in a place where the cooling can get knocked out. I mean, you have, it has to be fail-safe. It has to be, you know, in a situation where that can't happen. But, you will have this, I guess. And I guess here, this little bit of text, I think we could use it as a rallying cry. Guys, you want to start playing this gun regularly? Because I'm definitely in. I'm going to start, I'm going to start, you know, getting back into my, uh, my Alaska hunting ship. Trying to crank up some money here just in case we ever need it. Got 250 million on it. And I've got a few hundred million other places, but I mean, you know. That's actually kind of a funny thing. I, I answered the wrong person here, but what sort of BS is that? That's another game. That's something that means something totally different. So, but we approach that later. I'll tell you the one biggest thing that um that I could see as an improvement in, uh, in Star Citizen, if they get it right, will be voice-to-voice -voice communication. Because there's one thing about Freelancer, the one thing about it was it's an incredibly social game. People go there to, to visit as much as anything else. Shout out to Robo here for running this server for boy as long as I can remember. Even when I was playing on the Aussie servers, because I didn't know about flu, it was there. I think this was the point I realized that it was, I was talking to the wrong guy. Sorry! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much... I was sorry. I try not to be rude to anybody out here, you know. See, everybody's pretty copacetic here, you know, it's all good. It's all good, from Diego to the Bay. This was funny, the next, next line that came up. I said, Thank you for your patience. And he replies, Tap, 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 tap. I have kids, grandkids, and great grandkids. I got patience. That is true, that's true. And the conversation continued for a while, but you know, I find that videos that have lots of just slow text probably not going to grab your attention. So, anyway, here what I'm going to do is, for the rest of the video, we're going to guide you. And this is in a, a sister ship to the uh, to the Rook. This is the Rook defense ship. We're going to guide you to the real Alaska. That's right. And I'm not going to make you fly across the uh, the whole universe here necessarily. I was running into some video lag there simply because I was running out of hard drive space. I fixed some of that, but we're still going to have to run a whole bunch of disks through it here. 
Now, pretty near, pretty soon, I would say, we're going to land here on, on Malta. And then, you get to pick up the video from the next section. The next session. Not the next section. But the blah, 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 next session. When I actually did have my mic turned on. So... I remember specifically talking about, you know, just how gorgeous Alpha is. It really is just so beautiful to fly around in this system. If I were to tweak in there a little bit and tuck it in between the plants, you get to see the, uh, the Hispania derelict floating in space. It's a little bit outside visual range at this point. It will be interesting to see how, um... How good the visual range is on this whole thing, yeah, when we do Star Citizen. I still have to play a little bit more Star Citizen. I have it. Just to see, you know, how it feels now that they've made some updates to it. I actually have to download the updates. I have to get some hardware space so I can download the updates and then see if I have any hardware space left at all. Dog. Oh yeah, this was a work in the morning kind of thing, so we'll... I'm voicing this over on Valentine's Day, and I've got President's Day off. And so I actually don't have work in the morning tonight, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more... A little bit more gaming in is what I'm hoping for. Maybe a little more freelancer. I will catch you on the flip side here. As we now transition to the other video. Okay, here we are. Continuing, it's a different session here, but we're continuing our same mission. Taking off from Malta. Heading up to the general location of the battleship. See anybody on? Got some EFS on. Could be one of the guys I saw last time. Nice to see that we still have some, you know, you know organized activity here. Got some clans going. Anybody in our general vicinity? I'm in Alpha, we got people cruising in Gamma and Stuttgart, so they're out of our way. Nobody's dealing with anything up here in Tolfara Heaven. Hmm, I forgot to get repaired over in Malta. We'll have to do that when we get to, uh, get to Freeport 10. And, you know, perhaps this video would be useful to you if you need to figure out how to get to Alaska here on, uh... Oh, goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Would-be Beto coming after me. He doesn't like me. He's never liked me. The Beto. Now, Beto's never liked me, and he's probably... He's probably one of the top five players as far as skill level is concerned that I've ever seen. He would tell you he's number one. And he may be right. I'd have a tough time, you know, justifying that versus... Okay, did he just switch to South 37? No, Outlaws Hans Hinkle. Okay, now do we want to... You know what? Let's let's not go to Freeport 10. Let's go to Falkland. No one goes to Falkland. And you can say, well, gee, wouldn't you know a good meeting with Beto have a make for an interesting video? Yeah, it would. As you watch me get completely blown up repeatedly, because I haven't done player versus player on this thing in years.
course, does he know it's moi? He knows it's base. He knows it's base rook defense. He can guess it's probably me. Maybe he just popped into Alpha for the hell of it. He just came online and he just happens to base his stuff out of uh, Alpha. That would make sense. Especially with an Outlaws tag. Oh, here we go, I'm losing frame rate again. I don't know why I'm having this frame rate problem after I run Fraps Roll. I think it's got to be uh, due to fragmentation on the hard drive. You know, when you're cranking out videos all the time, it beats up on the thing. I know I have enough space. It's happening to me in TF2, it's happening to me here. It did! Look at that, no problem. Just now it went away. And now it's back. I'm watching the numbers bounce all over the place here. Overnight tonight, I got to set it up just to defragment itself. Or maybe Windows 10 doesn't like it when you get below 100 gig. I don't know. Don't let this frame rate reflect the uh, overall quality of the game. When I'm not running fraps, I'm getting over 100, 120 frames per second here. Right now it's bouncing between 100 and 4. Let's see, we'll repair. Okay, we're going to repair everything but the middle wing. Because I really do want the middle wing to fall off at some point. Well, I'm going to have to stop recording just to click, because I'm down to one frame per second. Okay, just so you can see what I'm doing here, and that the frame rate's back up. Clicking out the middle wing, repairing everything else. Now, the hole's at 100%. So, but a little bit more radiation, and that, that uh, rear wing will fall off, and... Then I'll have a proper base look. I could do a commodity run here, depending on where... He went to Theta, so he's not looking for me at all. That's good. Last thing I need is to be hunted by Beto at this point. New player, new player. So, Beto is also a new player. He's not a new player, no. He's... Well, he's new here, obviously, but that's... The Beto. The Beto neighbor. There's Cavey's transport there in New York. The one who was talking to us a little while ago. Alright, we got good frame right now. Oh, I'm talking here with my mic up here for a little while there. That's just great. You hear me whispering in the background. Picking up lots of ambient noise. No. Not seeing it. It's further over. It's around here someplace. I know that. I could certainly call up one of my other ships and then say, oh yeah, there it is. Might be right here in the middle of five. We'll see if it's in the middle of four first. It's either B4 or B5. So you can see the kind of things that you have to do when you're 
trying to find stuff here. Now, if I didn't know where this was, I'd actually have to go back and forth around the map. Aha! There we are. Maybe it was roughly here. Set targeting computer to the Alaska jump hole. Now, things start to get interesting around here because we can run into nomads to attack. This ship is not optimal for nomad hunting. If you look at uh, what we've got going on here, the Tizonas won't do anything to them. Even though they are technically supposed to be made out of energy, they're still treated like a regular ship. And they don't have shields. The Tizonas, nah, they don't do anything. But I do have quad nomad blasters on this, so it should be enough to take them down if we run into any kind of problems. Okay, you pop out here, very near a base. Yeah. That is kind of a weird thing, because it was last time I saw it, last time I was on it, it was a Corsair alignment, but it kind of had some out, uh, outcast elements to it. I think it might have been updated in one of the patches. Okay, now going coming up here, now we're, we're talking some serious uh, laggage. I'll find the base and then we'll, we'll continue recording. Okay, we found it. Santa Ana base. We're not friendly there. But we're not, we're, we're neutral, so Vito's back in Alpha. It's been a lot of years since I've been vocal about anything in this game. So hopefully nobody's overly annoyed with me. You know, back when I was a system administrator on uh, the Get On It server, you know, you're trying to enforce the rules and stuff and you get into arguments with people and yeah, there's some people out there that at least didn't like me the last time I talked to them. So. Never did figure out exactly why I th that uh, Beto uh, didn't like me. Of course, I, if I went back over all the posts and the communications and everything else like that, probably I gave him enough reasons. Okay, so the neat thing here, you can buy a ship. See, it's a Corsair base, but see, it says Outcast. Maybe they made it all Outcast now, officially. But he's dressed like a Corsair. Santa Ana ship dealer Hugo the Gringo Jensen. So <laughs> he's he's <laughs> that's funny. Not a Corsair look to him. So you can get yourself a saber here if you like it. And saber is ooh, you got to have at least one saber. Weapons wise, yeah, you're standing. You got your dra dragoons, outcast weapons here, windstalkers. If you can get the debilitator turret, which is a nice thing to have, it's a civilian gun. You know, if you've got a uh, one of the stock um, cargo, if you've got yourself a dromedary, this is a nice gun to have. My, my favorite thing to do with a, a drom is to put a bunch of debilitators on it, or barracos, and a bunch of catapult missiles. And you can take down a very heavy fighter with it if you're really, really good. Um, another thing, hornets. You can get hornets here, lancers, neutralizers, cannonballs. Of course, you get the full, uh, everybody, everywhere you can get the the battleship guns. Driller mines, screamer mines. Oh, you can also get the advanced deb if you're friendly. The worms, pyros. No kraken, though. You can't get the kraken up here. You can get the firestalker, though, if you're friendly. We're good. This isn't a missile ship. This is a standard all-guns PvP defense ship. Not uh, this, was, this was like you know the, the standard. I mean, this is this is the loadout you get. You get a pair of uh, shield killers and some nomad guns. They're strong enough to take most stuff down. We're not gonna go do a full system tour here. We're gonna just try and 
arc our way around and get down to where all the, the juicy stuff is there, like the, the Uno... You know, base there, the Uno construction site where they build the uh, build the big ships. Again, perhaps I'm having some difficulty with uh, the hard drive here again. I've done this before. I have filmed here, and I don't get lag bursts like this just from all the asteroids. You see, now there's even asteroids there. It's just so. Let's. This is just a lot of boring flying around anyway. So let me uh, let me get back. We'll, we'll kick this back in. We'll turn the gun cameras back on, as it were, when we get close. Quite a long drive. This is a very large system. You see, we're kind of cutting across here, and we'll arc around the uh, the effects of the star. I'm sure on a pilot. Setting AFK, which then tells everybody that you're away from keyboard. And then if someone tries to contact me, I'll say I'm away from keyboard, and so you know. I'm going to try something. coming up on you know. You can see that the base Ernest Evans cruiser is in Alaska. But which Alaska? You know, did, uh, in the, out of the kindness of his heart, did, uh, did Robocop bring my cruisers back? I'm not seeing it. No, 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 no. It's... It'll be right around here. Oh, no, wait a minute! What's that? No, wait, is that the one of the ones that's built as part of the... Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> it's a funny thing, but no, that's not the Ernest Evans. That's another one supposedly under construction. No, Ernest Evans. It would show up on um, on my radar, of course. No, that's that's part of the base. We'll do more about the, the the various trade runs and stuff here if I haven't already. And let's see, let's take a look around here. Is there anything that we visually tell us? You've got Alaska to New York and the battleship Mead. I don't think the Mead is in the the alternate Alaska. Let's take a look here. And there's, and there's Battleship Colorado. Let's dock, dock. this ship. For your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock two. Okay, so now I've switched to the battleship. And I should see... There it is. I'm a little bit up in the things here from spawning. But there you can see Ernest Evans. So they share places here. And, and again, you can see here you can tell the difference. If you ever want to know which Alaska you're in, if you're in Punishment Alaska, Limbo Alaska, no battleship. No battleships anywhere. It's just, you know... And the Alaska jump gate, which doesn't work, you can't go anywhere, you're trapped. <sighs> oh well, hey, look, I'm okay with it though, because we still have the ships, and if I can ever get base properly active again, then these things will be bounced out of... Yeah, I have to own a system to, for, to bring them out. 
Yeah, they have a, a whole system ownership thing on this uh, server. So let's switch back. I know what that is.